the forgotten supercrop that outsmarted corn and could save our future. If you think corn built the Americas, think again. Long before European ships touched these shores, a different crop powered empires, fed millions, and stood unshaken through drought, heat, and famine. It's more nutritious than corn, more resilient than wheat, and healthier than rice, yet today, almost no one grows it. The crop that could reshape modern farming was nearly wiped from history. Its name? Amaranth. Across ancient Mexico, Peru, and the American Southwest, amaranth wasn't just another field plant, it was the backbone of entire civilizations. Archaeological evidence shows that over 4,000 years ago, it was already a staple food. The Aztec, Inca, Maya, and Pueblo peoples relied on it daily, not only as food but as medicine, dye, and sacred offering. Spanish colonial records even state that the Aztec devoted nearly four out of every five acres of farmland to amaranth before the conquest. Amaranth thrived where other crops failed. It grew in poor, rocky soils and survived intense heat that destroyed cornfields. Farmers could depend on it when the rains didn't come. Its deep tap roots, stretching up to six feet underground, pulled moisture from soil layers other plants couldn't reach. Even in brutal droughts, amaranth kept growing, producing both edible leaves and grains. That dual yield made it one of the most efficient survival crops on Earth. Nutritional gold, that's what we're talking about here. The science behind its superiority. Now, corn may dominate today's markets, but honestly, amaranth outperforms it on nearly every nutritional front. Modern analysis shows that amaranth seeds contain about 14 to 16% protein, which is almost double that of corn. But here's the real kicker. It includes lysine, an essential amino acid that's missing from most cereal grains. Without lysine, our bodies just can't properly build or repair muscle tissue, meaning amaranth provides a complete protein source, similar to what you'd get from meat or eggs. Its leaves are equally powerful, you know. Fresh amaranth greens actually contain twice the calcium of spinach and more iron per serving than kale, plus vitamins A and C. Just one cup of cooked amaranth grain delivers about 251 calories, 9 grams of protein, and 5 grams of fiber. That's more than double the nutritional density of white rice. And while most grains only offer seeds, amaranth delivers two harvests those nutrient-rich greens all summer long, and then protein-packed seeds by fall. This incredible combination really made it the ideal crop for survival. Families could eat from the same plant all season long, turning every inch of soil into a renewable source of strength. Amaranth's downfall had nothing to do with performance and everything to do with power. When Spanish conquistadors invaded the Americas in the early 1500s, they were shocked to find a civilization built around this sacred grain. The Aztec used it in religious ceremonies, molding statues of their gods from amaranth dough mixed with honey, and sometimes even blood, then breaking them apart to eat during rituals. To the colonizers, this looked dangerously similar to Catholic communion, but with a pagan god at its center. They feared its symbolism, its unifying power, and its resilience, so they banned it. Entire harvests were burned. Farmers who defied the order were punished or executed. Within two centuries, the fields that once glowed crimson with amaranth were barren. Corn, wheat, and European grains replaced it. But amaranth didn't die. It retreated underground, in secret gardens tucked behind cornfields, indigenous families, Hopi, Pueblo, and Navajo among them, quietly preserved amaranth seeds. They grew it in hidden plots, passed seeds down in clay jars, and kept its memory alive through oral traditions. For nearly 400 years, this quiet act of defiance saved one of humanity's most powerful crops from extinction. Growing amaranth, often called the forgotten farmer's treasure, is, 
Well, one of the easiest and most forgiving crops you can grow these days, especially if you're dealing with tough climates. Its germination rate is pretty high, and it really doesn't need much irrigation. On average, you can get up to 3,000 pounds of grain from just one acre, and that's with about 50% less water than corn. So, it's a natural fit for semi-arid regions, urban gardens, or even low-input farms. To get started, just plant amaranth seeds about a quarter inch deep in well-drained soil after the last frost has passed. Amaranth likes warm weather and really thrives when it's between 68 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Keep the soil lightly moist during germination. You'll want about one inch of water each week until the seedlings are established. Once the plants are mature, they become pretty drought tolerant and hardly ever need extra watering unless things get extremely dry. For those of you preparing a nutrient mix, here's a simple recipe. Combine one liter of water with 20 grams of organic seaweed extract and five grams of liquid kelp fertilizer. Give it a good stir and then apply this dilution once every two weeks during the growing season. This'll really help encourage vigorous leaf and grain production. By midsummer, the plants reach heights of four to six feet, their seed heads just bursting with color, crimson, gold, or purple, depending on the variety. Each mature plant can yield over 200,000 seeds, which can be dried and stored for years without spoiling. Harvesting is pretty straightforward. You just cut the seed heads when they begin to dry, thresh gently to separate the seeds, and winnow away the chaff. Amaranth leaves can be harvested young for salads or cooked up just like spinach. Both parts of the plant store well, making it, well, ideal for long-term food security. So, why don't we see fields of amaranth stretching across the modern landscape? The answer really lies in economics and infrastructure. Modern farming systems were designed for crops that fit machines and markets, not necessarily for nutrition or resilience. Corn and wheat can be harvested by combine, milled, and shipped globally at an industrial scale. Amaranth's tiny seeds, by contrast, require more delicate handling and some specialized equipment. During the 20th century, a few small American farms tried to bring amaranth back, but without subsidies or large-scale machinery, the effort just couldn't compete with cheap, government-backed corn. Today, the global amaranth industry is worth less than $10 million. A fraction of corn's $200 billion. Yet, as climate patterns shift, its low water use and soil tolerance may soon make it, you know, indispensable again. Amaranth, the crop of the future. As the world heats up, scientists are turning back to ancient knowledge. Studies show that amaranth can produce steady yields even when temperatures soar above 95 degrees and rainfall drops below normal levels. It's now recognized as one of the top climate smart crops, capable of sustaining communities where conventional grains fail. Its nutritional profile is equally promising for the modern diet. Gluten-free and rich in antioxidants, it supports heart health and reduces inflammation. Amaranth oil contains squalene, a rare compound known for its ability to strengthen cells and improve oxygen efficiency in the body. It's no wonder NASA has tested amaranth as a potential crop for space missions, where efficiency and resilience are everything. And perhaps most poetic of all, the traditional Mexican sweet alegría, made of popped amaranth mixed with honey, survives today as a joyful echo of its ancient past. The same energy food Aztec warriors carried into battle now reappears in health stores and kitchens across the world, reminding us that what's ancient isn't obsolete, it's timeless. From a banned crop to a beacon of sustainability, amaranth's story is... Well, one of survival, both botanical and cultural. It represents resilience in the face of destruction, nourishment in times of scarcity, and the wisdom of indigenous farmers who understood balance long before modern science gave it a name.
At Soil and Crops Central, we believe crops like amaranth are not just history lessons. They're the blueprint for our agricultural future. Whether you're a small grower, a homesteader, or a researcher, this ancient grain offers a living example of how to farm smarter, not harder. So the next time you walk past a field of corn, remember, there's another plant, stronger, tougher, and far more nutritious, just waiting to take back its place in the sun. If you found this video from Soil and Crops Central inspiring, don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Help us bring the forgotten crops of the past back to life, because the next agricultural revolution might just start in your own backyard.